Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is how to properly staple and ensure that you get good insulated air going to your conditioned space. Because we've got to remember, most of the time these boxes are going to be in the attic, be it a rectangular piece of ductwork, like right here, be it like a triangle, or a linear diffuser, which is what this box is for. The point I want to make is this. When you go to put your boxes together, you do not, this, and I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. I know this is not the right size to everybody. So you don't put your boxes here, and you don't grab a piece of tape, and you don't just tape it down. Let me show you something here. Had a, had a, somebody tell me, oh, this is the right way to do it. Well, it's not. You, you do not do this. That is a no. The reason being, you still have exposed ductwork here, okay? It's, this is not, this is your vapor barrier. One thing you got to remember, this is what we call a vapor barrier. So, as the heat, heat chases cold, remember that. So, you got that heat trying to dive in to your cold air. By this being the vapor barrier and it being totally insulated, it helps the airflow, the 57 degree air, whatever degree air it is, going into your conditioned space. So when you have this exposed part going through and you set this in the attic, then you have heat penetration going in. Now the proper way to do this is this way. We have a lap all the way around. We have a groove. So what you want to do, you actually want to have a groove so you can have a support for your uh, box. Because if you don't have this support and this groove, what happens is it'll fall through. I'm, I'll show you in just a second. I'm just going to, but, but what you want to do is take your thing down, take your duck board stapler, every two inches. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it down. This is mostly for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to show you something. Now, when you get on this end here, you'll have a good tight seal all the way across here. See how these two connect? Also, not only do they connect down here and they're tight, but you have your vapor barrier going around the top. Just turn it around. Take it. Turn it. Twist it. Pull this nice and snug. Staple the next corner. Every two inches, you can be sparingly, every inch and a half. I'm just telling you what the code says. Okay. I just wanted you to see the, the bottom of this. Now, here's what I don't want to see. You take some guys, like I was telling you, they'll take this right here, and they'll tape, tape, tape. So when you take this piece of duck board, here's one that was taped like that. Oh, the guy did a nice job taping everything. Looks great. But what happens, what I want you to really think about, everybody, is when I take this into the attic and I leave it in there for five years, eight years, maybe next year, you've got that hot, humid attic air coming in here. And we all know how this works. The hot air is going to cause this tape to come loose. Not only did he not staple it, which there's no staples in here, but he has an exposed vapor barrier. I just, and I just cut this in two right here. Let me show you right here. I'm just going to take this and cut this end off. Okay, now here's what he's got. He has taken a piece of duct work, like a triangle, like this. I'll just set it up here. He, he's done this. He's taken a piece of duct work. And he set it on top of his triangle box, and the only thing he has for insulation is the foil tape. That foil tape will sweat. You can't do that. Because not only will it sweat, it's going to come apart. It's going to come apart over time. It's going to peel right back because you have no vapor barrier. See? The point I want to make is this is a vapor barrier. This is supposed to be lapped all the way around. You always have to cut your triangle or your box or whatever you're making a little bit larger. Pull it around. 
staple it up, tape it three times all the way around, and then you're going to mastic it. That's just a quick explanation of what not to do and what to do. If you have any questions about ductwork, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. We do a lot of blogging on ductwork and lots of other things. And if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. I will get back with you. Thank you.